Good morning everyone, I hope you all have been a lovely day today. So if you haven't guessed already, I'm going to be vlogging today. I feel like I want to vlog more in 2024. I'm not going to do this like every single week, but I definitely would like to do it a bit more. Um, I just, I love watching vlogs like, and I enjoy vlogging myself. So yeah, I'm going to be vlogging more in 2024. I'm like halfway through getting ready at the minute. I just need to sort my hair out, do a little bit of skincare, and then I'm gonna wake the kids up, get them all ready for school and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I haven't really got like loads to do today. So I thought this would be quite a good day to show you what like quite a chilled out day for me is like. I'm just literally gonna be like sorting a few things out in the house, like nothing crazy. Literally, it's like cleaning makeup brushes, putting some washing away, um, walking the dog. Um, I need to do my exercises and I found such a good like little routine on um, TikTok and I feel like it's really, really working for me. So I thought I would show you guys that. But yeah, like I said, I don't really have a lot to do today. Also, I'm filming these few clips on my phone camera. So if the audio and that isn't great, that is why, but I will swap onto my actual camera once my kids are awake and I can set all of my setup up and stuff like that. So yeah, um, with all that being said, I guess let's just start my day. I'm sat here chilling as if like I have all the time in the world, but I really do not. <laughs> Clay. Hi. Hello. What are you doing? Are you playing? Hi. Say hi. Hi. Can Oakley do it? Hi. No. <laughs> hi. Can you leave me alone to play, Mum? Hi. Yep. Hi. Yeah, clever boy. Okay, so we have literally just got back and I'm just starting my like little morning ritual. So basically my plan is, oh dear, he's put the noisiest toy on, hang on. So as I was saying, my plan is to get all of my clean washing put away, make all of the beds upstairs, put a wash load in <laughs> and then... Um, Honestly, I've got to go get Kane from work because he's got doctors today. Um, so I've got about an hour. So I might get all that done and see how much time I have. Oakley should have a nap in about like half an hour, which is honestly not ideal. <laughs> I've just, yeah, I've just basically got to sort the house out a little bit. So let's start doing that, I guess. Okay, so kitchen is all clean. Um, obviously that's just my push chair over there. Oh my god, guys, right. So anyone who has a dash hound, right? So I've been looking for a harness for her and I'm really, really struggling. So basically, the harness I had before was okay, um, but it, it wasn't ideal. Like she could get her paws out of it if she really, really wanted to. Um, so I wanted to get one of the ones, you know, that go over her head, which I've got. The problem is because she has such like a deep chest, like she has a really big chest, the bottom bit doesn't fit, which causes the top bit to like, like fold while she's walking. Like I'm dreading the walk today because I know it's not going to be the most comfortable for her, which is just, yeah. And I don't want to put the lead on her collar because she will walk like it, but you can tell she's just uncomfortable and she's not like, got to the point on the lead where she doesn't pull so she'll pull every now and again and i'm scared she's gonna damage her throat which obviously i really don't want her to do so anyone who has a mini dash hound please let me know what harness you use that you really really like because i'm really really i'm really struggling and i don't know if i'm just being stupid or what i don't know but obviously i've never had a dog with like such a big chest before so yeah if you if you know of any good harnesses for a mini dash hound please let me know it would be greatly appreciated but i've just finished cleaning up the kitchen and 
Now I'm gonna go and put all of the washing away upstairs, put another wash load in, very, very boring. And then if Oakley goes to sleep, I will probably clean my makeup brushes and then I can just kind of chill, maybe have some breakfast for once, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna quickly go do that now. Okay, so this is Aurora's room. I just need to tidy up. I will not be putting the train track away though because she wants to play. Also that box, she loves to play with boxes, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's why that is there. So I just need to quickly make her bed, you know, put her teddies on her bed and stuff. And then this room will be sorted. My room's going to take a little bit more work. So that's Oakley's washing because he had a little accident on his bed. So I need to wash that. And then <laughs> washing that needs to be put away, bed needs to be made. And my little dressing table area just needs to be sorted out a little bit. So I guess let's just get this sorted. Okay, bed made, dressing table sorted. Obviously Oakley's bed isn't sorted because I need to wash his mattress protector, like I said, but now just Aurora's room. So again, here's a little before. And here is the after. So all I've got left to do now is quickly do Oakley's washing, which I need to do before he starts crying. Honestly, the best thing I ever did was get that play pen because he literally just sits and plays in it. And I know he's safe because all the toys I put in there, I put in there. So I know everything in there is safe. It's all his toys. Um, so it's just such a lifesaver. Like I hardly have to think about him. Like I know he's fine. And unless he starts crying, like he's fine. Like, do you know what I mean? He's just playing. So <laughs> best thing I ever did. It just gives me that extra like 15 minutes that I need to just get stuff sorted. So, quickly gonna sort out his washing now and then I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm done really. So I might quickly have some breakfast whilst he's awake and then um, once he goes to sleep, I'll probably clean my makeup brushes until we need to leave. Um, but yeah, we're doing really, really good this morning. <laughs> Okay, so you can probably hear Oakley's video in the background and also the washing machine, but the way I've been feeling a lot better lately is by, I have, I've had this for a while, but I stopped using it. I started using it again and just kind of planning out my day and it just makes me feel so much better when stuff starts getting ticked off. So once this um, wash load is done, I'm gonna actually clean the washing machine because it really needs a good clean. And obviously I wanna clean my makeup brushes and once I've done that, all I need to do is make sure I do my exercises and I can't do them until Kane's home anyway, unless Oakley has a really, really good sleep. Um, but yeah, so I'm really, really <laughs> on it today. It's not even 10 o'clock yet, and I've only got two more things to do, and I can't do one of them until the washing's done anyway. So I think I'm gonna quickly have some breakfast 
first because I think Oakley's probably gonna want to um, have like a nap soon anyway um, but we're gonna be going out in like 20 minutes so I think I'm gonna quickly have some breakfast and then get him in the car and stuff so yeah then you can just have a sleep in the car when we're about to go but everything is going great at the minute which just makes my mind so happy so i'm gonna quickly clean my makeup brushes i um took him to the doctors and uh, we went to greg's got some like food and then now i'm gonna quickly clean my makeup brushes whilst oakley's nice and happy and then after that i've got like a bit of a video to edit i feel like i'm out of focus why do I feel so out of focus? There we go. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my plan. I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes. These are the ones I have to clean. So it's not a ton, but it's like a fair amount. And as I was setting up to clean them, I realized I didn't have any brush cleaner. I, can't, I forgot to buy it last time. So I'm just gonna use what I used to use, the Johnson's baby wash, like the shampoo, um, and then just this thing I used to clean my makeup brushes. So. Let's get started. Just look how dirty this sponge is, by the way. Oh my God, the color of the water is disgusting. And then this is it after it's had a clean. I don't think it's absolutely perfect, but definitely a lot better. This brush is definitely stained with blush. I just cannot get it out. I absolutely love this brush for blush though. So cream blush. So I'm not surprised it's stained. Okay, I've only done four brushes. So time to get a bit of a wiggle on. Okay, so here are all of my clean makeup brushes now. So I'll leave them like this to air out for a bit and then tonight before I go to bed, I'll just wrap this towel completely round them just so they don't get any like dust or anything on them because um, I like to give them a day or two to dry. And that is kind of perfect timing because Oakley has literally just about started, not even really whinging, he's just been shouting me. So I'm going to go down to him now, probably get him to sleep to be honest um and then i'm probably gonna just finish editing my videos maybe edit a bit of this vlog as well and then it should be time for me to get aurora from school and then we'll be having dinner and then i should be doing my exercises and stuff like that so there is still stuff to show you guys um but yeah for now i'm gonna quickly go downstairs i think i'm gonna just get oakley to sleep the one thing i haven't had time to do is take the dog for a walk so i think i'm gonna do that after i've done the school run maybe after dinner sometime around there um but yeah i'm not sure if i'll vlog that but it's just <laughs> me making a mental note and um, but yeah i'm gonna go get oakley to sleep now anyway one sleepy tired baby okay so um <clears throat> i finished obviously cleaning my makeup brushes i cleaned the washing machine so all of my actual chores are done so the only thing that i'm kind of dreading doing is some exercises later but other than that it's just chilling out i got my video edited and i'm uploading one of them now and i've got another one to upload when i get home as well um but yeah we are <laughs> doing really really well today i've had like a really productive day unfortunately it's not really been too much that i could put on camera like it would be really really boring to watch but i'm gonna go and get aurora now and when i get back i think we're gonna just have dinner and then I'll exercise and wash my hair and stuff like that. And I'll show you my like nighttime skincare routine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get Aurora from school now anyway. And also Oakley's awake. Say hi. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> 
Okay, so sorry about the horrible uh, camera quality, but um, I've basically spent the whole afternoon, I played Trains with Aurora, which I couldn't really show because it was just like me and her time. I didn't really want to put a camera in front of her face when we was like having like one-on-one -on -one time. And yeah, we had dinner. I didn't show I was cooking dinner because it was literally pies, so not really very much to show you there <laughs> so yeah um i'm just currently i'm running a bath right now and i'm gonna do my little exercise routine in a minute i found this like girl on tiktok i'll have to try and find i'll put her name on the screen and stuff um because honestly the routines that she puts together are actually really really good and they're like strenuous where you, you feel the burn but i feel like it's not too much where like it just puts you off do you know what i mean um so yeah i'm gonna do that in a minute i'm gonna try and set the camera up where you guys can see but i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know <laughs> i don't know where i'm gonna set this camera up yeah and then i'm gonna go in the bath uh wash my hair and stuff and then just do my nighttime skincare um and yeah that'll probably be the vlog done so i'll set you guys up now and I guess I feel the burn. <laughs> I'm dreading this. <laughs> okay, so this is the lady that I follow on TikTok. So her name is Julia All Women and PP Trainer. So that's who I've been following these workouts from and I'm just doing the transform your body in four weeks dumbbell only thing. Um, today it's day one again and it's full body. Basically she has like a few different workouts that you do four different rounds of so I'll just show you one round of them all and then that's this one and then I also do one for like mum tummy as well so I'll show you that as well um also don't mind <laughs> Kane's work clothes on the bed he's gonna put them straight back on <laughs> tomorrow so yeah anyway let's do this also the angle of this isn't the best but it's the best I can do Okay, so that was round one. I'm absolutely shattered. But now I'm gonna do the rest of this one and then I'll come back and show you the like mum to me one. So <laughs> for you, it'll be a quick thing. For me, I'll be completely out of breath. <laughs> okay, so it's the first one's done and honestly, my legs are shaking. Um, so now I'm gonna do the second set. This one's all based on like stomach, specifically like mum bod kind of stomach like exercises. So. Yeah, this is my first time doing these ones, so don't expect me to be <laughs> too good at these, but yeah, it's my first time doing them, so we're gonna go through this together. Okay, so that's the first round of those ones and um, I know I'm gonna struggle, but I'm gonna quickly do the rest of these and then I'm gonna have a bath and treat myself to just relax. <laughs> so, uh, next time you see me, I'll probably just be getting out of the bath 
so I'm finally out of the bath. I'm gonna sort my hair out. I'm gonna actually blow dry and straighten it today though. So for my heat defense spray, I've been using this, but honestly, it's not very good. So I'm just trying to use it up. But it's the Dr. Paul Paul It Does It All Seven in One Hair Treatment Styler. Again, not my biggest fan of that one, but I brought this. It's called the Gum Hair Moroccan Oil. I really, really like it. It's been making my hair super, super soft. So. Yeah, I'm going to use this and this and then I'm going to blow dry my hair. The sprayer on this also broke so I have to take it out and like do this and then I end up getting too much on my hands and it's just a bit of a nightmare. Then I just take my brush and I just brush that through. Hello Viva, you okay? Yeah. I really want to get a wet brush because I feel like my hair would benefit from it quite a lot. Then I take some of this and just, I only put this on like the ends of my hair, like the mid lengths to the end of my hair. And then just with whatever's left, I just kind of run that through my roots as well. I don't like too much product on my roots though, because I obviously don't want it to go greasy too quick. Then I just take my Dyson with this attachment on it and I just put it on the highest heat, highest like blowing setting and then I just blow dry my hair. So once my hair is dried, it's left very frizzy. So I'm just gonna pop half, well, more than half of my hair up and I'm just gonna in sections, you know, straighten it. I, I have to do this before bed because if I tried to straighten this in the morning, it would be even worse. So yeah, just pop it up like that. I have already put a little bit of um, heat defense in it. But I'm not gonna lie, my hair's got that like feeling, you know, like, like it's not, you've kind of not washed all of your conditioner out or something properly. It feels kind of like that. I'm hoping it's the heat defense because sometimes that does that, um, but my hair will eventually soak that back up. <sighs> I'll be gutted if my hair is still greasy. Also the lighting, I know is horrendous, but I'm working with what I've got right now. So I just use my GHD Platinums, honestly. They're not my favourite hair straighteners. I had a lot of problems with mine at the start. Like this is like my eighth pair <laughs> that got sent out because mine just kept breaking within the year. I mean, touch wood, these have been fine, but I do have like a backup pair of hair straighteners just in case these do give up on me. And then once that's all straightened, I just brush it through and then let down the next section and so on and so forth. So now that all my hair is all straight and I'm just gonna quickly go in with some skincare. But I just quickly wanted to talk about these. So these are the like eye creams and serums I've been using as of late. I've been using them for about two or three weeks now, I wanna say, around that time. I got these sent to me by the way. The brand didn't say I had to speak about them, but they have sent them to me and I do have a discount code that is valid until July, I'm pretty sure. I'll put it on the screen with like the little bit of extra information and also I'll leave it in my description as well, as well as a link to these. But I've really been enjoying these. I just feel like they make my under eyes just feel 
more hydrated and also i feel like this could just be me thinking this but i feel like the bags under my eyes are nowhere near as prominent as they used to be i mean i don't really get any sleep um as a mum of two so all i do is i get the serum first i do two little drops on my ring finger i like massage it in between my fingers and then i share that underneath both of my eyes just kind of rub that in all around i take it up to my brow bone too I just kind of massage it in until it's almost completely blended in i don't want to apply too much pressure though i'm trying to be as gentle as i can and then when it starts to feel a little bit tacky where i feel like i kind of could drag my eyelid around i stop there give it a second or two to dry and then i go in with this one which is the mm smoothing wrinkle anti-aging eye cream and this one by the way i forgot to say is the mm restoring anti-aging eye serum and with this one i literally just take one pump on my ring finger i like massage that again in between both of my fingers and then i pop that underneath my eye again this cream especially is the one that i like it just feels so nice and it goes so far as well like that one little pump does so much so yeah i've really really been enjoying them like a lot so if you want to check them out it's not like an affiliate link or anything but feel free to use the code to get some money off like i said i'll leave all the information in the description below and also on the screen but i've really been enjoying them obviously i'm not going to see any results in just three weeks but i am really enjoying them and i'm going to continue using them and yeah hopefully i see some results soon and then for my moisturiser at night time, I've just been using the simple one just because it's super hydrating and it's not like too much on my skin because as you can see, I'm suffering with quite a lot of breakouts at the minute. I honestly, I think I've got acne. Again, I used to have it when I was a teenager and I feel like since having Oakley has sent my hormones into overdrive and they feel like I'm a teenager again. So yeah, just pop that on massage it into my skin try and not get it in my hair just take the excess on my neck as well i do like to go in with quite a thick layer of cream at night time as well because it doesn't bother me as much because what well, i'm going to be going to sleep so i don't feel it on my skin as much and then in the morning my skin just feels super hydrated and that is it that is my little nighttime skincare routine sometimes i throw in a few like um like skincare serums here and there but as well believe this is what i've been doing and i've really been enjoying it but that is everything i have for today's vlog i really hope you enjoyed spending the day with me it was a lot more of a chilled day and i really really did enjoy it if you did enjoy it please leave a like it really does help me out leave a comment as well if you want to see more videos like this just let me know and if you are new around here and you want to see a little bit more of me please consider subscribing because i'm really trying to hit 700 subscribers before my birthday and we're very nearly there um so yeah if you want to see a bit more of me hit that subscribe button but for now i'm gonna jump off and i'm gonna go watch something in bed with kane and we're gonna chill um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one bye guys